Hey all you Bionicle and LEGO fans, it's LEGO Mission Studio, here with one of the final updates for the Bionicle documentary. After looking at all your guys' opinions and kind of, they're not really votes, but just looking at what you guys said after the Bionicle Manas Crabs review, and if you wanted the Christmas classic like rev Christmas reviews, or if you wanted me to focus on getting the documentary done, and it was a close tie, but I've got to say, people really wanted me to finish the documentary. So, sadly, I don't think I will be making any Christmas reviews. It may happen, possibly, if I think, you know, if I'm really bored one day. But that's hardly going to happen, because I'm scheduling out all the time I'm going to spend making the documentary. So that way it gets done on time, at least, hopefully by this Christmas. But if not, I'll get it done definitely between the first two months of 2011. Um... And that's a definite I will get it done by then. I am not going past February. If okay, so I have decided that I will make the Bionicle documentary. And I want some fan interviews. Now, these interviews are, I'm going to say, keep the videos you guys uh, respond to this video or send to me. Keep them under two minutes long. Um, you know, two minutes being the maximum. And if you really have a lot to say, at most three minutes. But that's quite a lot, you know. I, I really want to squeeze this in with the Bionicle documentary, but I don't want to make it huge, long, and boring. So keep your guys' videos to two minutes long. And make sure you guys, if you know you don't have the best sound equipment, I really, it sounds picky, but I wouldn't suggest making this video because I'm only going to pick a handful of you guys, and it's probably going to be the ones with the best quality audio. So what you can do is film with your actual camera if you have one, and then take that audio and put it in your video. Um, or if you can't do that, then just use your microphone. But I'm telling you guys um, that if you know your quality is really crappy, I wouldn't suggest going out and doing it. Of course, you can if you want, but it probably won't get put in the documentary. But So yeah, these are the questions that I would like you guys to answer. When did you become a Bionicle fan? What year? What age were you? What sets were being put on back then? Um, when did you come into it? Basically, when did you become a Bionicle fan? What year and how old were you were? Then, for question two, give detail on your favorite memories from growing up with Bionicle. This will probably be the longest part of your interview. Basically, examples of maybe your first set, how you felt when you got it, uh, your first time reading the comics, uh, first time visiting the website or playing a game, just basically and it could be anything, I mean, I don't know, just a favorite memory that happened. Maybe you and your friend were playing with it or did something, you know, uh, with the Bionicle sets. You're just your favorite memory, um, a couple favorite memories, maybe two or three, uh, basically, of Bionicle. And then, third, what does Bionicle mean to you? Uh, this is kind of vague, but I think it's the most important question out of all of these that I'm going to put in the movie. Basically, what does Bionicle mean to you? Does it mean, um, like, to me it means, like, it's a memory that I'll never forget that is really important storyline, and just what does Bionicle mean to you? How important is it to you? Like, is it really strong? Holds a place in your heart? And, yeah, I mean, you don't have to go one, two, three, four of all these questions. You could tie, kind of tie this in with your favorite memories, but basically, what does Bionicle mean to you? And then for the fourth question, how will you remember it? So will you keep some sets? Will you give most away but keep maybe one or two? Maybe keep a box or two from your favorite sets? Maybe keep all of them? Maybe collect all the books? Maybe hand them on to your children when you go older? Because sadly guys, from what I've seen, Bionicle is probably not ever coming back. Ever. Like, from LEGO, with at least within the next 10 years, I really don't think it's going to happen. I just want you guys to face the facts that just like all toys, they have to end at one point. They may be resurrected someday, but definitely not in the future where you guys will be probably way past adults when if they were to ever bring it back. Um, so really, what, how will you remember it? Because I'm pr pretty sure it won't be coming back, but you can always remember the stories and collect everything that you had. So really, how will you remember it? And those are the four questions. One, two, three, four. When did you become a fan? Give detail on your memories of growing up and what did Bionicle mean to you and how you will remember it. Remember, keep this video uh, two, under two minutes long. I would best uh, prefer if you guys, when you film it, to go in a nice quiet corner so that way I, it, I get the best quality. Remember, this is a pretty important movie. I don't want any chairs rocking in the background or tapping on glass in the background or dogs barking or phones ringing. I want this to be really good. So do your best at recording this. And also, just making sure that 
Um, the best thing to do is would be just, if you want to film yourself saying it, that's fine, but sometimes it's best to just record the sound and put it over a black title, like, the video could just be a picture, but behind it is all this audio. Most of you guys who are used to audio video editing will be used to this, like, H2O, Shadow Gear, Hookie 999, you guys know how to do it. But I'm just saying for you younger fans that might want to do this, um, take some time into looking into it to make it the best quality you can. And this video is getting way too long, um, but I hope you guys can do this and it will really mean a lot to me. And I hope most of you guys make it into the cut of the final movie. I'm still not even halfway done with it, but I'm wanting to get these done now. So turn in your interviews by posting a video response to this video. If you don't know how to post a video response, then that means you probably shouldn't even be making a video in the first place. <laughs> don't mean to be mean, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, see you guys later. Thank you so much. This is Legomation Studio signing off. Long live Bionicle.